Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to yet another episode of Trenchless Addict. <laughs> Man, this is a beautiful yard. The birds are chirping. It's a bit sunny and a bit warm, but good to be back. I was off for about a week. Got a stomach bug. It's good to be back, feeling great. Check out this job. We came back here a while ago. The building had a clog. There's a sewer over here. They knew about that sewer. Opened it up, went this way, unclogged it, and we discovered that there's a mid hidden manhole. And they said, no, there can't be a hidden manhole. We've been here for years. There's no manhole there. There's a tree over there. Well, there was a tree over there. And I know, I located with my device. I showed them with the camera, there's a, there's a manhole there. And sure enough, we dug. There was a tree on top of this manhole. You could only see the corner. Only the corner was exposed. They had to dig down about 40 centimeters, take off this big tree, and now we have access for future clogs. And we're gonna throw in a pipe repair right at the point of intrusion where the roots got through. They grew in, we're causing clogs, so we're gonna finish taking those roots out, rough up the pipe, and throw in our patch. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start by roughing up the pipe with our six inch sandpaper. I still got some roots, so, but I got the sandpaper on here already, so we're gonna start with that. Afterwards, go for the roots. We're just gonna, look at that. It's a good fan in the heat, look at that. Oh man, guys. Feels good, just don't get hit by the sandpaper. <laughs> I'm gonna send that in the exit. Roll it around a little bit. Try not to get hit by the sewage. All right, we're about done over there. All right, so it looks like we actually got the uh, got the roots out. Going a little bit left. See that transition right between the black uh, P, uh, HDPE? That's the that's the exit of the manhole where it goes into the orange PVC. That's where the roots intruded. So that transition right there is what we're going to get out. So we're going to get now there our our uh, balloon or packer ready and start measuring things up, figuring out how long our repair is going to be, the quantity of our resin and uh, get her done. Now, because it's a six inch repair, that's a 150 millimeter, and we got root intrusion, we want it strong. So we're gonna do a three millimeter repair, which is three layers of fiberglass. Each layer is one millimeter. We fold it over in such a way that we get three millimeters in the middle. At the ends, we'll get a little bit less. I got a very small amount from the entrance of the exit of the manhole to the pipe. So, journey, I like to make a little bit more overlap. I go two millimeters, then three. We're gonna have a little bit less step over here, but that's good. If you understood, you understood. If you didn't, you'll understand at some point. That's how we, uh, that's how we get it done. You see we got one layer there, two layers, three layers. And of course, guys, mat side is out. The mat side is the one that's gonna be with the flow of the water. Got mat, we got shiny. Shiny side does not touch the water, boys and girls. All right? I know people think, oh, it's nice and shiny, it's, sm it's smooth, that's the one that should be getting the flowing uh, sewage. No, guys, don't do what you think. <laughs> Ask the suppliers what's supposed to be. The mat side is the one that's gonna be exposed to the gases and the chemicals. Okay, guys? <laughs> make sure make sure you're doing the right stuff. Once we got our measurements, we're gonna measure how much we need of the resin. All right, so we can get our handy any calculator out there. We're gonna get the height of the, of the fiberglass, the length of the fiberglass, multiply it together, multiply it together to get the area. Multiply that by uh, 1.6, that's the magic number. And we'll get our resin, all right? Ba -da 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 -da. Got the length 1.5 times 0.52 times 1.6, 1.5. 1.3, 4, 8, 12, that's all should be fine. 800, mark it on the, on the thing over here, measuring cup. That's gonna be two to one ratio. Two parts silicate resin, one part the hardener, the activator, and uh, let's 
good to be back to work. Let's get our twist ties. Cut and ready. Got to tie on the uh, fiberglass to the packer. Two should be enough. It's going right at the egress, so don't got to worry about that. I'm ready. Let's mix our resin. I almost forgot we're using a uh, cow tube. So we're going to spray it with some silicone spray to hopefully make it a bit easier to take off. Otherwise it's going to want to stick to the stick to the uh, resin. to do that. Okay. <laughs> Got our stop light running. See how it's changing colors? See how it's changing colors over there? Go for about a minute of mixing. Okay. All right, so we're gonna pour this guy down. See if we can camera and get the resin with one hand. Should be able to do it. All right. If you're not using the Express, it's not as nerve wracking. You got a lot of time especially when you have the resin cooled overnight. So starting at a lower temperature. I know we gotta flip it. So we do gotta put this down. Cause we're gonna get ourselves a bit dirty now. Flip that over. All right. Yeah, it's already nice and saturated at this point. Fiberglass mats absorb the resins really nicely. Flip it around. Pick it up. Okay, beautiful. Start right here. I take this off. Excellent. Good to go. Get our twist ties. Really don't have to twist it too much. Just so it doesn't slip off.
cut it down right there. And then we're gonna slip it inside the sewer and inflate. Okay, take the gloves off. Put new gloves on. I'm gonna want the fiberglass to stick out of the sewer just a little bit because uh, stick that in. Okay, right there. Maybe a little bit more. That's it right there. Start expanding it. Maybe a little bit more there. That should be good right there. Start expanding the All right, you can see I purposely overshot it. Overshot it a little bit too much. On the left side, there's a gap. So I'm gonna wanna grind that down so toilet paper doesn't get stuck. The bottom is great, nice and hard. Can you even see inside? Oh yeah, beautiful repair. So we're gonna grind that down and then uh, finish up, all right? All right, look how beautiful it is. Cut it back and we're done. We actually got a secondary clog in the bathroom back there. So we're gonna film, I think it's out of the manhole over here. I think it's uh, this line. This line over here. So they got some more roots there, so we'll clean it out. But we're done for now. So if you like the content, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Take care, guys.